Hello, welcome to Driving Lessons of BS. This episode is on the most nefarious... Nefarious? This episode will be on one of the most notorious aspects of the driving practical test. Parallel parking. This is one of the manoeuvres that you may be asked to do on your practical driving test. So first of all, you need to know the car that you're going to be reversing behind. In this scenario, it's this car here. Now, to begin with, you need to get into the starting position. So, you need to drive up alongside, parallel to this car, and just ahead of it. You need to make sure the distance between you and the car is about a metre. Now, as you're doing this, you need to be checking your mirrors, and if there's any cars around, you need to indicate left to show them what you're about to do. So, once you're about half a car's length in front of the other car, that's when you need to stop. At this point, you want to put the handbrake on because you want to be able to observe everywhere around you. Now, immediately, you need to select reverse gear. This is because in a minute, you're obviously going to be reversing, but also you need to warn other road users of what you're about to be doing. The reverse light will come on on the car and they will be able to see what's going on. So now you need to observe all around you again, checking mirrors, and if everywhere is clear, you may start reversing backwards. However, if there is other vehicles or a cyclist or maybe a pedestrian crossing the road, then you need to stop and wait for that to happen. Once you're happy you're clear, you need to start reversing backwards. Now, the position you need to reverse into is when your, the back of your car is level to the back of the other car. If you look out your left rear window, you should be able to see the back of the car just in the window there. If your car and the other car is roughly the same length, then your side mirrors should be lining up. So the car is now at the point of turn, so you need to stop here again. Yes, again, you need to be able to put the handbrake on at this point, just to be able to check everything around you is safe. If everything is fine, then you need to make sure you look out the back of the car and start reversing backwards. As you're reversing backwards, you need to move your steering wheel 360 degrees to the left. So that's one complete turn. You will need to keep going backwards until the next reference point. This is when the left corner of your car lines up to the right corner of the car you're coming behind. You could also look in the left passenger side mirror, and when the kerb is just an inch above the bottom of the mirror, so it's almost disappearing, most of the time that's when you're at this reference point. So once you reach the reference point, you then need to stop again. Now yet again, check all the area around you, and then once you're ready, you move backwards and steer full right lock this time, complete full right lock, so as far as it goes, this will start bringing the car parallel to the kerb. Keep looking around you whilst you're doing this, and also use your left passenger side mirror to check how far away from the kerb you are. As you're almost into the space, you need to start straightening your wheels so that your wheels are straight as well once you're parked in the space. Don't be afraid to adjust your steering wheel as you're coming in if you think that you're going to get too close to the kerb or you're going to be too far away from it. Now, once you're actually in the space, you could then adjust to get a bit close to the kerb if you need to. But also, you need to make sure there's not more than a car's length gap between you and the car in front. If that is the case, you need to just pull forward a bit, but also make sure that you've got enough room so that you're able to get out again afterwards. So that is the parallel parking manoeuvre. I hope this video has helped you, and good luck with your practical driving test. Do you like the big fringe? I think it might be a bit weird. Mm -hmm.